Hi guys, in today's video I'll be showing you on how to prevent the Android launcher crashing and to actually keep it in the memory. Have you ex ever experienced the launcher icons and the background having to reload after exiting an app? Well, this isn't really the Moto G's fault. I mean, the 1GB RAM isn't a lot, but with Moto G, Motorola's addition um, of putting in random stuff in the builder prop and making it quite bad, it constantly kicks everything out of the RAM. And um, there's a quite easy fix, but you need root for this. Now, the first thing to change is the, basically the easiest one is to go into developer options and then to change your background process limit to um, standard limit if it's not on standard limit. Now, um, if you've changed this, change it back to standard limit. Now, back to... Um, the first application we need is basically super su. Now if you've rooted you should have this installed already. And then the second app we um, only need is the ROM toolbox. Now you could get the light version but I recommend the pro. And for educational purposes I have included the APK for the pro version in the description down below. Now access ROM toolbox pro. And the first thing we are going to do is go into performance, task manager, click on the top there and then change your limits to these. Now I will also put them over here to make it a bit clearer and once you've applied this tick apply on boot, apply successfully set min free param parameters and then exit out. Done. Now the hard part. Do you want to support a UK based company? Then shop at Fireflex Vinyls with free shipping. Well, it's not really hard, but what I want you to do is go into tools. Uh, not tools, by the way. Build, build up prop editor. Now, what I want you to do is basically um, delete um, Dalvik VM heap size by clicking here. Now, when you scroll down, and um, you will notice that there is um, a Dalvik VM heap size. Um, not down here but there is one around here where um, I would put a, put a name down here so basically what I'm trying to say is uh, there will be a v, VM heap size equals 36 M somewhere down here now scroll slowly down and find it and when you do find it just tap it delete it and that's it. Now delete the 36M, galvic.vm.heapsize equals 36M. I don't know why they've included it twice, but thanks to a um, user on XDA who found this, we can get rid of the um, launch or crashing problem and the constant um, multitasking issues. Now, once you've deleted 36M, scroll down until you find this section and then delete the 256M as well. Now once you've deleted, just exit out and um, it would save. Now over here you are not going to have the 20, 256M and what I want you to do is to basically add one. So click the plus, sorry, click the plus and then just type in, well, just type in dalvik.vm heap size. The property value is going to be 256M. Now if your one doesn't add then you could just quickly go into edit scroll all the way down to Dalvik VM heap site and manually add it in just type in this and then press save and it will manually add it in now once you've done this click plus again and then type in sorry about this right forget this just go into edit again it's, it's the easiest way editing and then type in ro ro dot home so this should be on the screen right now underscore app underscore adj equals one now once you add this in, what it does is basically it forces the launcher, the the um the, the launcher which you set as like the main one to stay in the memory. 
Now, if you do open a billion apps, then um, it will eventually get kicked out as you would run out of RAM. But it's not going to happen frequently. And if this happens to you, basically, I'm guessing nine out of, like, like seven out of ten exiting of our apps, it would literally reduce it down to like one out of ten. And I've I've experienced a huge like performance increase in my phone doing all of these changes. Now save again as usual, save your dot prop, and reboot your phone. Now, if you do have a problem with your phone and it's not building um, booting up, don't worry. There is a really easy fix, and all you have to do is basically download the file down below, and um, basically. Um, you could download your own as well. Um, download the firmware, delete all the firmware apart from the um, system chunks 0 1, 2, 0 and 1, 2, or 1, 2, and 3. And all you have to do is flash the system chunks 1, 2, and 3, or 0, 1, 2, and you will literally have your phone booting up again. You will not lose none of your files. You would um, basically have all your apps. Basically, everything will be how it is. The only thing that will change is your build.prop build will be replaced with the working one. And that's really it guys, you know, it's really easy, you get a big performance increase, I've literally opened up multiple Chrome just to rep uh, replicate the issue, and I have not been able to, and I basically gave up, and and the video, what you will see at the beginning, will most probably took off another video, just because I can't get the launcher to crash. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, peace out.